Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. The Simpsons, Bard vs. the Space Mutants for the NES and is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I mean, sure the, uh, like, intro gets the colors wrong when it comes to Marge's dress and Maggie's, uh, outfit, so to speak. But I remember playing this game as a kid and I thought it was pretty good, but it was very challenging. Like, back then I couldn't get past the third level. Or was it the fourth level? Either way, this game is not very easy and it controls very weird. Like, this was around the time that you can put The Simpsons on just about anything and it would sell well. Springfield straight below, sir. Excellent, Zorbo. Did the Earthlings suspect anything? No, sir. By taking over their bodies, no one will ever suspect. Delayed pause. We are really space mutants, planning to rule the Earth. And make all humans our slaves. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. And Bart's like, cool, man. With this machine, we will build a weapon to conquer the Earth. All it requires is one ingredient. Purple colored objects. Collect them from this pathetic town of Springfield, and we will be victorious. So, uh, violet objects will obviously not work. That's why they need purple ones specifically. Alright, so basically your goal here is to try to defeat the space mutants, since that remains without saying. The controls are very weird. Select allows you to go through different items. Start allows you to use your X-ray specs, and you will be using them to identify which people are space mutants. If you try to jump on a regular person, you will only take damage. To run, like, to just standard run, you have to, like, hold A, and then just keep going. If you want to do a running jump, you have to hit A and B at the same time. So, as you can see, the goal here is obviously to, well, get rid of all the purple objects by either covering them or spray painting them. And you, you see that little thing on the lower right called goals? That determines, like, uh, how many other purple objects you need to take care of. Once you take care of them all, you're allowed to go to the boss. Alright, so, let's use one of my, uh, ten coins here. Oh yeah, it's press start, of course. Ah, oh, Bart's still holding the spray paint can. Most tavern, most speaking. Is Stu there? Who? Stu! Last name, Pididiot! Hold on. Hey guys! Does anybody know a Stu Pididiot? Ha ah! ha! Huh? Why you little Alright, so I assume that guy is supposed to be Mo, even though it looks nothing like him. And you can just spray paint him. If he runs in contact with you, you would take damage. So that's why I had to get away. Also, make sure you're getting plenty of uh, spray paint cans, because you will be needing them. Don't jump onto the, this bush, you'll find a bee. But you can jump into this one and get a coin. If you have 15 coins at one time, you're going to get an extra life. So be sure to collect as many as you can. They're also used for currency, of course, because that's what money is. Okay, good. I was able to get that one. So, uh, yeah, I will be buying some stuff eventually. You don't really have to fill in all the letters. However, it does help. Especially since your Simpson family can be used to take care of, uh, bosses for you. Oh, that's not gonna work. That'll work. And you can see, like, the meter for your uh, spray can over there on the right. When you, like, uh, run out of a spray can, you'll go to the next one automatically. Ah, damn, that was bad. The little Bart heads over there on the left signify, like, how many hits you can take. And the crusty heads, of course, are your extra lives. Okay, I want to buy one cherry bomb, and I want to get seven rockets. Yeah, rockets will definitely be coming in handy here, so take advantage of that. Also, when we passed by the theater earlier, if you go there between 200 and 400 seconds, you get a different scene. Buy a whistle, and probably a magnet. The thing that's very annoying when it comes to doing like the running jump is that sometimes you'll be using the spray can when you really don't want to, and you gotta save up on that stuff. That's one way to get the can to work. Okay. 
Alright, so I gotta find a way to get up there. That's how. Can I land on that? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, ten goals left. I'm actually doing pretty good. Did I already go in here? No, I can't go in there. I can go in the pet store. As if that's gonna matter much. Okay, let's use that cherry bomb right here. Scare away the bird, and that actually counts towards a goal. Okay. My guy! Only one more left. Oh, don't use the spray can! Okay, I'll use it over here. I stand on the grass. There's supposed to be a cop showing up. Oh, I walked right into the cop and I took damage. Yeah, the cop killed me. F the police, am I right? Alright, so, luckily all my progress is saved. My time is reset as well, I just noticed that. So I guess I won't be going back to the theater. I probably had time for that. If anything, I probably would have just gotten, like, a bit more, um, you know, chances to increase my goal. Okay, let me stand over here. Use a rocket, and then walk right into it again. Good job, young Simpson. Remember, victory comes to those who get ahead. Yep. Okay, a uh, statue. Strange statue thing. Okay, we get to this part. You gotta jump over dogs. So this can be very annoying and very dangerous. That's just one of the obstacles. Then you got these little mutants. I think they're called Zeboids or Zeploids. Either way, you touch them, you take damage. And then after you get past them, you gotta deal with Zeboids and Jimbo Jones. So this can be annoying, because you'll keep going to the right and then going to the left again. And you just have to repeat the process over and over and over again. Until you get to the barricade and then you can get off the skateboard. Okay, Jimbo's gone. Alright, so far so good. Alright, five more goals, and we're good. And with that, we spell Maggie. Let me get my rocket ready again. There. Just by hitting the sign, we just activated Barney's Bolarama. And it's no longer purple. Alright. I don't even know why I'm still going for these. It's probably just points. There are like five levels in the entire game, and I'll probably be doing like a one stage per video. Because they can be pretty tough. I'm gonna miss out on the, that coin there. Well, that one I did. Alright, so, I do believe there is something that will happen if you use a rocket on this E? Or was it the other one? I think it was this one. Yeah, I think I gotta use it on uh, this E. Let's find out. Oh, I kind of missed that. I'm gonna try one more rocket. Because I believe that if you do hit an E, like that one over there, you get three extra lives and the sound test. And you know what? It hit the ground and disappeared. So I don't have it. I feel kind of gypped as a result. I don't know why I did that for the money. Oh... That's one thing that annoys me, the coins and some of the items that land on the ground can actually disappear forever. Huh. That's one way to get a goal. Just like, use rockets against a retirement home. Most of these are war veterans, for crying out loud. They've seen enough rockets flying at them as is. Don't go, like, a uh, revitalizing old trauma. It's kind of mean. But it sounds like something a Simpson would do. Alright, so one more goal, seriously. And I'm pretty much at the end. I don't know if this is the particular place where you can actually... Oh, I did get the sound test! I didn't get the lives, though. Uh-oh. I attracted a dog. Is it gonna leave me? Yes. Okay, I think this is the window. 
that uh, some ugly looking uh, Grandpa Simpson over there, and he just throws money. Where did he get all that money anyway? Oh, this is annoying. There's only like one more goal, and I gotta look for it. Do I still have, do I have another rocket? That, that's the frustrating part. Now I gotta go all the way back. So where am I gonna find like another purple thing? I have to go all the way back to the um. I don't know, like go all the way back to the theater? Is that how this is gonna go? That's gonna suck. Yeah, I gotta go all the way back to the theater. Uh oh, I gotta be. You know, just kill me. Oh, maybe I gotta use my skateboard again. Yeah, it doesn't look like I got the uh, extra life from the uh, Krusty head. The sound test is just weird. Is that a... Ah, damn it. Oh, you can only take like two hits and you die. As far as I know, there's no way to replenish your health. I did almost everything I could just to get all the purple stuff. Not really just on TV, of course, but still. It makes no sense. What else was there? I think there was like a wrench I could buy that can allow you to uh, use it on the uh, fire hydrant. But there was no fire. There was no wrench. Rocket, I suppose. I'll buy two more. Oh! I could have actually gone to the tool shed to actually buy a tool. Well, don't I feel like an idiot? I'll buy a key as well. It might come in handy. Get my wrench ready. Goal achieved. Proceed to the right. Okay. Now I can actually, like, head back to the boss room. So just give me a moment, I'll be right there. Alright, I made it back, and I did lose a life, because when I was doing the skateboard thing, I actually reached the threshold where Jimbo turns around, and he was like an inch right in front of me, so I took a hit, and as a result, I died. Alright, so for this boss, we gotta take on Nelson Muntz. He throws water balls at you, or not, yeah, water bombs, or water balloons, and he likes to jump and use an earthquake attack. So what you can do is allow Maggie to help you out... So you can chuck the bowling balls at him. The thing that's annoying about Nelson is that yeah, his attacks can actually track you. It's like three bowling balls will do him in. Or, well, I think it's five, actually. And there we go. Wow, I've, I've lost too many lives. Like, this is only the first video, and I'm down to like one or two lives left. Level complete. Curses! Plan A has been foiled by a mere child. Well, no matter. We have another plan. Our machine will now accept a new ingredient. Hats! Go to the Springfield Shopping Mall and collect them all. We must not fail! Eat my short. Yeah. Apparently the machine now accepts hats, as opposed to purple stuff. Okay, for some reason it just wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Oh, sweet, another hat. Okay, well, it's a very weird way to pause the game, and apparently you can get merch here. So, I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next episode, we're going to collect some hats. And hopefully some extra lives, because I'm running pretty low at this point. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.